What is going on y'all? Welcome to the Thai Life channel. My name is Min and in this video, I am going to show you how I did this pedicure on my client. This client right here, she comes to me once a month, but her toe is always busted when she comes back y'all. And it's not her fault. It's because she is ill. She cannot bend over to take her toe. She got bad hips, she got bad back. It's okay. It doesn't matter. As a nail tech myself, I take pride in what I do and every time when a client needs my help and if I'm able to give them that kind of help, I'm gonna make sure I deliver. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This client right here, right? First thing I did is I have to remove the gel polish off her toe to really see what's going on under them toes. So to take off the gel polish, as you all know, you can go ahead and use the drill. But back in the day when gel first started coming out, everybody was soaking it off with a con ball. They used the cuticle pushers and pushed back the gel polish. The problem about that is that they can scrape off the natural nails. They go too hard, it can damage the natural nails. If you're good at using the electric drill, myself, I enjoy removing gel using the electric drill. However, it really depends on the natural nails also. Like this client right here, she's been coming to me for a while. So because of that, I know her texture of the nail. Her texture is hard as hell. So I'm going to make sure that I'm gonna drill off the gel pot, but I know she won't get hurt. Okay, but if you have a client who have really paper thin nail, you definitely want to be careful with using the drill. So the drill bit that I'm using is a fine bit. As you all know, when it comes to drill bit, there's so many different type of bits. There's coarse, there's the pointy one, uh, there's the one for the cuticles. The one that I like to use is a fine bit. Uh, I don't like to use the coarse bit is because the coarse bit is too rough and if you're gonna take something off closer to the natural nails you want to use the fine bit honey just trust me okay we want to make sure the toes is still fine not faux I'm just letting you know so as you can see I took off the gel polish and look at the client's toenail you can see that there's a lot of Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so we gotta try to make sure we take care of all of that. As I'm trying to remove the gel on the second foot, you guys notice that I am putting the drill on the big toe first, and why not the small toe? You guys ever wonder about that? Leave in the comment if you ever wonder why I start with the big toe and not with the little toe. But when I start drilling off the other foot, I start with the pinky toe. So here's the reason why. The drill is going this way. And if it's going this way, all of the, the gel flake is gonna get pushed this way. So if I start from the big toe, I'm pushing towards nothing, so I'm not covering anything. So as I'm going down to the smaller toe, it's okay because I already did those toe. But if I start from the little toe, all the gel dust is going to cover the big toe and when I go over to the big toe it's going to get in my way of falling off the gel polish. So hopefully that makes sense. That is the strategy of efficiency. Making sure you're working smart and not hard. Okay. So as I am cleaning her gel off, I noticed this toe is not as bad compared to the other toe. Right. So a lot of times you're gonna see that. A lot of times clients, not ever their toes gonna look bad. It might be just one or two toe that you have to deal with and sometimes that one or two toe can be a lot of work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna clip down her toenail, okay? When you are dealing with pedicures, especially elderly people, they just like their toenails short, okay? They're not going to prom, they're not going to Sadie Hawkins, they don't need them toenails to be no, long and everything. They only come once a month. They want that toenail to be trimmed down as short as you can so that they don't hit into things because they are clumsy as hell, y'all. I mean, there's so many phone calls and texts that I get from my clients saying that, hey, man, I fell down. 
I broke my hip. I mean, I get a lot of those from my senior citizen clients, so I really pray for them because honestly, if they cannot move, they cannot go get their toenail done, and I am losing out if they don't show up. That's just me speaking on behalf of how I feel about driving through income and cash flow. Because when your clients get hurt, you get hurt. But you, they get hurt physically, you get hurt financially. For real. That's why I pray that my clients are always nice and safe. So that is why I'm going to cut down their toenail really short so that they don't run into any type of table. Okay. So after that, I'm going to file them and put the cuticle softener on. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing with the next foot. Okay. The thing about pedicure is very repetitive. That's why it's easy. That is why I need y'all nail tech to get with the program with the pedicure. Like if y'all not making money in acrylic, get with the program in the pedicure. There's nothing wrong with the pedicure because honestly, y'all always talking about like, oh, the feet is gross. No, it ain't. Okay? Yourself is gross. These feet's not gross. It just needs help. And you're there to help it. Okay? So as I'm cutting down the toenail, I'm talking to the client, explaining to her what I'm going to do. Communication is the key to a perfect pedicure also, okay? Let the client know so that they can appreciate you more. Let them know that, oh man, that's pretty cool. Like Min is actually going above beyond and doing stuff that I never even asked him. So that's what I did. I'm gonna try to make sure I file. Okay, so when you are filing the toenail and you're cutting really short, if you're using a brand new file, make sure you're not cutting the file on the skin. You gotta prep your file sometimes if you are rough at filing. Cause sometimes you file too hard, you might end up cutting the skin and that's an owie. Her nails, her toenail is beat up already. We don't need any type of blood, any type of cut, okay? So I'm gonna go in with the pushers. Now let me tell you this again. This client right here, her cuticle, is outrageous. I mean, these cuticles, every time when I cut her cuticles, I spend a lot of time cutting it, okay? And when you ask me why am I cutting a lot of times on her cuticles, because her cuticles are not just on her toes. Her cuticle is wrapped around her toenail, under her toe, above her toe, on the side. She got dry skins everywhere every single location y'all can y'all believe it every single location her skin just dry so now as i'm using the pushers i'm also going to try to clean as much as i can before i go in with the nippers okay the nipper is like the surgery part of the pedicure but we're going to try our best to clean all the dirt all the dry skin that just fall off naturally yeah you would definitely have skin that just fall off naturally. That's how dry it is. And I'm not making this up because you can definitely see how dry it is. I am not making this up. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is that this is the satisfying part. It is. It is the most satisfying part of doing a pedicure is when you are eliminating these dead skin, y'all. I don't know. Please don't call me Jeffrey Dahmer, but I just enjoy cutting these cuticles because you can see the differences. You can see that she went from raggedy cuticles to beautiful cuticles. You know what I mean? So as I'm cutting it, I am looking at all over her toe. I'm not just focusing on what the cuticle is giving me. I'm also using my fingertips to feel where is the hard part around her skin. That is what I am doing as I am cutting. I'm not just focusing on top of the nail because once the toenail on top surface is clean, yeah, you're good. But you cannot just let a dry skin hanging out around the nail. It's like you got the dry cuticle on top of the nail and the moment the club closed, you got all the people going to the club hanging outside the parking lot. And those are the dry cuticle. When you got dry cuticle wrapping around your nails, 
they just hang out in the parking lot hanging y'all so you gotta eliminate it okay you the police you the nail tech you the security the club is closed all of y'all gotta go home okay so that is what I envision in my head y'all that's just an analogy we're not going to the club or anything please don't get me wrong but now think about this as I'm cutting you can see I'm spending a lot of time on just one toe now you probably ask me how much do I charge for this pedicure right like I that's hard bro that is the hardest thing about a pedicure being charged because you got to set a price like you got the price I charge 55 for my pedicure right it comes with everything it comes with taking off the uh, gel it comes with shaping cutting the cuticles uh, cleaning under the foot massage polish right but you can never know the amount of work depending on the toe <coughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you for example now if a client come in she got a lot of cuticles I can't control that mm -mm. I just can't and then when a client come in with a big toe I can't control that it's gonna waste more of my polish more time to polish yeah but I cannot control none of that you set a price and you make that price work for real but back to the cutting the cuticles y'all but as you can see look at under her toes her toes has so many dry dead skin under there and the only thing that I can do is just cut as much as I can and that's the thing about doing a pedicure y'all you guys are not doctors you're not here to do surgery you're not here to cut no toes off or eliminate a toenail what you can do is just to file them clean them make sure that it looks decent yeah that's all you can do but the problem is that you will get clients who expect a miracle you will get clients who expect the toenail to be like brand new like right when they first born uh, you gotta let them know it takes time you gonna spend 10 years of not taking care of your toes and you spend one pedicure to make a difference come on y'all that's not the reality of all things but clients expect that I'm just letting you know okay don't get butt hurt but anyways so now I am gonna go ahead and try to use the drill to clean under her toe look my goal for that big toe is just to make sure that it looks like presentable okay because I know that she's gonna come back in one more month to do a pedicure again but the problem is that if I don't do a good job now it's gonna make me work harder next time so that is why I'm trying my best I'm trying so hard to really clean her toenails okay and it's a lot of work but trust me sometimes you do these kind of stuff they give you a big tip and my friend let me tell you something a good pedicure will keep that clients coming back and when they come back that is guaranteed money that is guaranteed money in your pocket to feed your family and your kids and to build your career for real for real I'm not here to sugarcoat anything you know I take this nail industry very seriously and I want to make sure that y'all stay on top above water when it comes to driving your career as a nail technician for real if you agree exactly what I'm trying to tell you right now give me a thumbs up make sure to share this video and yo give it in the comment let me know how you've been feeling about this tutorial okay let me know how you feel how you feel about pedicures because sometimes man I know a lot of nail tech y'all don't like that pedicure but it's all right so now that I feel like that toe that foot that I'm doing right now is looking clean let's buff it up let's go ahead and get on with the other foot y'all so now this foot right here is not as bad to the other one the other one was giving me a little bit of a headache I, I ain't gonna lie it takes time but that is why I booked this client 
the end of the day because I know I'm gonna spend a lot of time on her, y'all. Okay? This pedicure easily, you can charge 80 something, but like I told y'all, I charge 55 for her. I got that kind of love. I don't care if I'm popular on social media, whatever, okay? I'm gonna be fair and I'm gonna be honest because that's how I am as a nail technician, okay? I'm not here to rob nobody. I'm here to produce a service that I enjoy giving to the clients. That's 100% real talk, okay? So now, as I'm cleaning this toe, I am feeling happy, y'all. I'm happy that I'm done with the other foot and I'm happy that this is the last foot that I have to do, for real. Because at the same time, I am counting the clock, bro. I am literally in my clock, be like thinking like, I need to go home. I wanna go home, for real, I wanna go home. I need to get this pedicure over with. I gotta get it going, y'all. I'm happy. I am happy that it gets towards the end. And if you tell any nail tech out there, the last client and y'all know y'all about to finish up a service, that's a good feeling right there. So here we go with the cuticle, y'all. This toe got some cuticles too. It might look better than the last foot, but these toes right here, it, it, it has a lot of dead skin. And I don't know how some of these dead skin grow, y'all. Like this client, she get pedicure once a month, but every time she comes back, it's the same old story. It's the same old story. I wish there's a new story to a toe sometimes, y'all. I wish there's a new story to a toe. I wish there's a story where like the toe have a happy ending, y'all. Like the toe would be like, once upon a time, I was torn up from the floor up. I was homeless. I look like homeless, beat up, nobody cared for me. And all of a sudden, one day I woke up, one, two, three, pedicure, and all of a sudden I got baby feet. It's not gonna happen. That is not gonna ever happen. I, I just, I'm just being real with y'all. If it's gonna happen, please let me know. I would love to have some brand new feet right now, y'all. You just can't. So I'm gonna give it my best, try to make this feet good, y'all. Okay, I am gonna give it my best. But dang, the more I cut the cuticles out, y'all, let's talk about that real quick. It's satisfying. And the reason why it is satisfying is because Again, you're eliminating something that is like outrageous, okay? And the amount of cuticle that it builds up in your nippers is ridiculous. I mean, look, so as we are cutting the cuticles right now, look at my nippers, y'all. Look at my nippers when I am turning the other side. Look how much cuticle is sitting on that nippers. I mean, that, and we're only on the third toe. We are not even to the fourth toe yet. And look at all that cuticle sitting in the nippers. Yeah, this, I am not making this up. And the reason why I wanna show you guys this whole footage is because this whole pedicure took me an hour and 15 minutes, y'all, okay? If you go to any salon, this kind of service, right? I'm, I'm telling you, that's an arm and leg, but look, I ain't gonna do her like that. I ain't gonna do her like that because she broke. She's also broke, y'all. She just lost her job. She just lost her job and now she she still wanna keep up with her nail. That's the crazy part, y'all. See, when your service is so damn good, even when they don't have money, they still come and find you, y'all. That's the crazy part about doing good service in the nail industry. People really find way to make money and get the nails done y'all for real so this is why i love what i do you know if you understand the formula it's that easy to get that clientele y'all okay but maybe some clients you know they might be different they, they nobody can ever make them happy we're not talking about them tonight we're talking about these toes right okay so i'm getting really excited because now i'm heading on to the big toe New can see, look at her cuticle. Those ain't even cuticle, yo. Those are little dead skin around toe, okay? You know you ain't supposed to cut that, but look, if you're professional enough, you know how to cut the dead skin, it's okay. Go ahead and clean it up for her. You don't want those skin hanging around like what I said, right? Like, this ain't no nightclub. It's time to go home. Let's get them dead skin around them toenail to disappear, okay? Exciting moment, yo. Exciting moment because I'm about to finish, but we're not done yet. The toe might look good. 
But what about the hills, huh? Them hills right here, bruh. Them hills need help. So I got the cuticle remover on and I got the callus remover on. I set it for five minutes. I'm gonna go in with this pumice stone, okay? Let's talk about this pumice stone real quick. There's different type of pumice stone. This one right here is a one-time use, okay? It's not a two-time use, okay? It is a one-time use. Don't ever reuse pumice stone, y'all. It is gross. I know some people, I'm not gonna say who it is, but nail tech, y'all reuse this stuff? No, okay? It's gross. A lot of people have illness. You rubbing off their skin. Don't do that, okay? Now, after I scrub a foot, this piece of metal right here, it is not a cheese grater. Please do not. This is just a foot file. It's a metal foot file. You can use metal foot file and you can reuse it because you can sanitize it, you can disinfect it. Yes, you can do that. This right here, it does magic with the hills, okay? This, every client's love it, y'all. DND foot file, I don't know why they don't make it anymore. This was a gift, but you know what? I'm gonna try and make my own foot file one day so I can hook y'all up. But I am cleaning that hill, okay? And yes, I am standing up, y'all. I am standing up. I am standing up is because the, the feet get heavy. The, my arm get tired and I, when I stand up, I'm just kind of hanging on and just great. I get tired, y'all, okay? I'm gonna be real with you. This video might look hella professional and everything because I, I was tired, yes. I'm letting you know how I feel. I'm happy that I'm about to finish. I'm happy her toes are done. But when you are doing pedicure, your hand muscle will get numb depending on the leg. Depending, you got all type of legs, y'all. You know them legs have different weights, okay? Yes, the skinny one might be easier and sometimes you get the big one, it might be a little bit heavier. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. To me, every time I do a pedicure, it's a workout, for real. Why do you need the gym? Each time you lift up a foot, you go like this, that's a couple, that's a couple times already. You turn, turn the other, I'm just letting you know, I always, Work smart, not hard, y'all. While I'm doing the feet, I'm thinking like, look, this feet's heavy, this feet's about 10 pounds. You know what? Let me work on that tricep real quick. Let me work on that tricep. You know what? I'm gonna lift up two feet and I'm gonna work on my back. For real, I'm gonna work on my back. Now it's the massage, y'all. Massage is like the, the cherry on the top of a pedicure, okay? Because now that the client's feet's been soaking the water, it's warm, you clean up her toe, you scrub her foot, that massage just really de-stress them, make them relax, make them feel like they in heaven. You know what I mean? No, wait. You don't wanna feel like you're in heaven because that means you're, you're dead already. You just wanna make them feel alive. You just wanna make them feel pampered. You know what I mean? That's what a massage does. That's what a massage does. So when you do massage, you know, <clears throat> there's different method. There's different method. This method where, you know, you can move the uh, joint around, you can tap on it, you can bend it back. But all I just wanna let y'all know, this is what the tips is, y'all. This is what the tip. Back in the day when we do pedicure, for real, every single nail tech that was training a new nail tech, they'd be like, oh yeah, make, make sure you do a lot of, oh, make sure you pedicure, make sure you massage real good, make sure you massage real good, they, they give good tips. That's how they get you. That's how we get paid back in the day, y'all. For real. We would get paid because we do good massage. And that good massage, when the clients come back, they be like this. Ooh, I like her. She gives good massage. For real. I'm not making this up at all. So yes, a good massage goes a long way. Okay, a good massage goes a long way. But you know what the main thing is? I'm just very happy that this client right here, her foot, looks nicer, her toe looks fresh, they look clean, they look alive, they don't look dry, right? Look at them, you see it? They don't look dry at all. I really feel very happy. And at this moment right here, I'm more relaxed, y'all. I'm not touching anything heavy. I'm not happy, I don't have to lift any legs no more, y'all. I'm just enjoying counting down the, the minutes getting ready for the polishing, you know? That's how I feel at this moment, for real. 
A massage is soothing. I'm relaxing. I'm just trying to get it over with at the same time because at this moment right here, my hands are getting tired too, y'all. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat anything, y'all. But we're gonna end it with the hot towel anyway, okay? I am tired. I am ready to go home. I am ready to see my family. I am ready to grub. That's how I feel right now. Because she's my last client. We are about to polish it up and you know polishing is easy. You just gotta go in with the base coat. It ain't that hard. But what? let me tell you all about this base coat. You notice the brush is very tiny. I used to not like it because I was like, why is it such a tiny brush? But you know, it makes sense. Every time I pick up a base coat, it's always dripping on the side of the cuticle because it's too much base coat on the brush. This little tiny brush pick up a perfect amount where you only pick up and smooth the surface of the nail that you need with the base coat. Yeah, for real. I love it. By the way, that's Gaudi. Gaudi makes some really awesome product, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all can get the promo code Thai Life, 30% off. Save you a lot of money. Gaudi has really good base coat. And on top of that, their top coat is out of the line, y'all. So I'm 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 just loving it. Like when I see that product out, I just have to share it with y'all. But look at her toes, y'all. Before we put the polish up, look at them toes. They look fresh, isn't it? They look clean. They look like I put in a lot of work, y'all. The thing about polishing the client's toe is yes, you gotta polish it nice. But I can tell you one thing, it doesn't have to be perfect. And what's that supposed to mean? Does that supposed to mean where you're gonna paint it on the cuticles? No. Does that mean you're gonna paint it on the skin? No. You still gotta paint it nice. But what I'm trying to say is that at this moment right here, the client is very happy about the cleanup of her toe. She feels right. She feels amazing. So now when I polish, I'm just gonna take my time, fill it in, you know, make sure you go kill. It's basic, it's basic polishing. Nothing fancy, okay? But now, it also depends on the toenail too because certain shape of the toenail you cannot change. She got some thick toenail, some thin toenail, some curved toenail, some wide toenail. So when you put the polish on, it looks good, but it also depends on the toenail, if the toenail looks good or not. Like what I'm trying to tell you is like a girl with makeup on. Just because she have makeup on, that does not mean she look pretty. Uh, 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 uh. Same thing with the nail polish, okay? The polish is great. Yes, the client's gonna look down and be like, oh my God, I love the purple, it's great. They're happy. But you as a nail tech, we critique ourselves. We be looking at the toe like, man, the polish looks good, but man, her toes just don't look right on this polish. Look, man, don't beat yourself up like that. Please, do not beat yourself up like that. Just know that whatever you did throughout the pedicure, you did more than what she expected. And this is why I need y'all to really learn how to do the pedicure, y'all. For real. This is why I need y'all to really do it. The thing about pedicure is like you don't have to think. If you do acrylic nails, you have to plan, you have to draw, you have to execute the prep. My God, if you're broke right now, Go do a pedicure. You make money right away. I'm not even kidding, okay? So that's why I wanna encourage you to really think about it if you haven't done pedicure. And if you have, congratulations. Because honestly, now you get to see how I did this pedicure on this wild toe. So now we're gonna go on with the second coat. You know the funny thing about polishing is that the client, they always ask you the question, uh, is this gonna be the color? It's so funny, right? Like, it's so funny that they never feel 100% sure when they see the first coat. And then nail tech always be like, oh, it's gonna look like this color when we put on the second coat. It is so funny that I always get that question, but you know what, it's okay. They don't get the nails done a lot. It's a luxurious thing. Toe, pedicures, nails, these are luxurious items, guys. This is why it is important as a nail technician, we have to take pride in what we do. We do. 
because think about this nail is a luxurious service it's not a necessity you don't have to get your toe done you don't have to get your nails done but you get it because you want to feel that luxurious service right so because you as a nail tech working in a service that is a luxurious service when you feel honored when you feel honored that you are able to work in a luxurious service you should be honored you should be honored this is why you got to be proud of what you do and you got to do it right and make people feel that you are as luxurious as the service that is the key to the nail industry y'all that is the key to become a passionate successful nail tech you have to think like that you can't just think i'm out there doing step one step two step three step four make money and call it a day no you have to bring the luxurious out of you you're doing something special don't ever let anyone tell you that this is not a career don't ever let anyone tell you that this is a side hustle because if they ever tell you that you tell them not everyone can afford the service that you do not everyone for real so at the end y'all we finish it up with the top coat we just gonna finish it up with the file making sure the toenail looks nice making sure it looks good at this moment yes she is very happy I'm happy why because I make her feel good and I get to go home the best part about having the clients at the end of the day is like you get to spend a lot of time with them pampering them and I enjoy that you know I enjoy a little visit that's what I love about my job is really when you have that client who just connects with you and they always share their personal story with you it feels great because now you become a therapist and hey you might be an unpaid therapist but you know what it's part of being a nail tech and I cannot tell you how happy I am with this pedicure and I cannot tell you how happy I am that I'm able to share this process, this client, and her condition with you. So at the end, of course guys, after the filing, we're gonna clean up all the dust, and that's her toe. She's excited, she's happy, she's ready to go home. I'm happy because she likes it, and it looks way better than what it was when she walks in. Yes, it's not perfect, but hey, she's happy. That makes me happy and that's all that matters so you guys like this video make sure to share like and subscribe leave in the comment what you think about doing pedicure other than that i'll see you on my next video